Hi guys, in this video I want to show you my wireless video follow focus kind of a kit that I'm using from Came TV. Uh, in this case I have it uh, on my Zcam E2F6, but I also am using the same setup uh, whenever I work with uh, other cinema style cameras, especially like with my Ursa Mini or RED cameras or even uh, ARRI cameras. So the whole kit consists of two things. First is the wireless video. Uh, and I have the transmitter and the receiver here and then also the wireless follow focus. Having both the wireless video and follow focus system installed on your camera rig uh, allows the camera operator then to really concentrate on the composition while you have your camera assistant who could be sitting on the side remotely watching the shot and also remotely pulling focus. So first let me talk about the wireless video system. So this is a transmitter right here and the receiver above the monitor. Uh, and this is the Crystal V or Crystal 5 uh, model. And the, f the reason why it's named that way is because it works especially well if you have a V-mount battery system on your camera. What I mean by that is that uh, it basically kind of gets sandwiched in between your V-mount battery plate on the back of your camera and your actual V-mount batteries. So in this case, as you can see, I have this actually a really neat little V-mount battery. Um, that, that's, that's the one that I use specifically with my uh, Zcam E2, just to kind of keep everything small. So I have the V-mount battery there, and then up here I actually have a little battery plate uh, that converts the native uh, Sony NPF style battery plate that's on the back of the Zcam and converts it to a V-mount battery system. And then as you can notice in between that, like a nice and thin, is the actual wireless video transmitter. And what I like about having the wireless transmitter uh, on the back of the camera up here is that it's not awkward, for example, you don't have to mount another arm or something uh, somewhere else and kind of have it sticking out, uh, you know, uh, off to the side or above your rig. You kind of have it there, like I said, sandwiched in between the battery plate and uh, the battery itself. And also what's cool is that this transmitter basically passes the power through. So it, it takes the power obviously off from the V-mount battery, but then it also passes it all the way through uh, to your camera. Now, in case you, let's say we're working with a camera that doesn't have a V-mount battery uh, plate on it or accepts maybe you know an another type of battery system, you can still use this transmitter on its own because basically then you would take that battery plate and then actually uh, there's an adapter that it comes with that allows you to mount a Sony NPF style battery so you can power it that way. And I'll show you that in a minute. But right now I have it all set up and I just kind of want to show you guys, uh, you know, basically what you can expect to see. So there you can see in my monitor is the, the you know, the reaction. There is a tiny bit of lag, but it's it's not much. And it's, I, I think it's, it's still, you know, f fast enough to be able to use it for a critical follow focus as, you know, work. Not only that, but the most important thing is that the signal that you're going to get uh, basically through the actual receiver here is really, really good quality. It's nice and sharp 1080p signal. So as you can see, yeah, you can definitely, you know, see exactly what's happening. Now, obviously, to pull focus, you're going to also need a wireless follow focus system. So Came TV uh, has their own. Uh, it's the Astro follow focus kit. It's very nice, light, compact, very affordable. Actually, this whole, like if you get the wireless video and the uh, wireless follow focus kit, you can get it as a deal for just over 800, no, $700 actually. Uh, or you can buy them s separately for, this is the wireless video system, I believe is 500 50 or $600. Again, for all the latest prices, as always, check uh, the links in the description. Uh, and if you do use any of my links, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, it always helps out with the channel. Uh, and then if you wanted to get just a wireless follow focus, that's around $300. But again, if you buy both of them, you're, you're saving yourself a lot of money. Uh, so anyway, so here I have the wireless uh, follow focus motor installed. And then, uh, the, like I said, the tr transmitter or the controller here actually has a built-in battery, which is kind of cool. Uh, overall, it's nice, small, compact. And then the, the motor up here is actually powered. It has a little power cable and it's plugged into the one basically here on the, the DTAP connection on my V-mount battery. Uh, you can actually power it using different ways, but it, this is one of the cables that it comes with. Uh, so to set it up, it's actually pretty easy. I have a power button here on the top, so. Just press and hold it and turn on the whole system. You're going to see it says, hello, Came TV. Uh, once you have it on, 
uh, to calibrate it, you know, make sure obviously it's uh, on the ring of your lens. Uh, and then it's pretty straightforward. You just go here, press OK, and press OK again for calibration, and do automatic calibration. And when you're ready, click Start. And you can see it's going to go here, and it's going to detect the, the, the endpoints of your lens. And once it does that, yeah, then you can exit here. And now you're ready to focus. As you can see it's nice and fast, responsive, it's a quiet motor. Uh, and another cool thing about this wireless follow focus system is that uh, you can set four basically points. So you can, like for example, let's say if this, you know, I want this to be one of my points here. Uh, I can go, for example, and press and hold basically the A button. And you're going to see a little A appears there. And it shows you also that what I like is that it kind of shows you this whole range uh, up here on the display. So as you can see, as you're moving the wheel, it shows you where you are on the spectrum of your lens. So how far you are from one end to the, to the next. So let's see up here, I can set point B. Just press and hold it and so on. I can do point, let's say here, all the way up here, point C. And then once you have them all set, you just basically click it and you can see it will go there. Now, you can see it can go there super fast <laughs> or you can actually change the settings there. So, so I set it to 15. It was before uh, all the way at 40. And now, as you can see, it goes much smoother. And yeah, like I said, you can fully customize it and adjust the intensity, basically the speed of it. And also actually, yeah, the intensity. The, by the way, this um, follow focus system is as, as a gear pitch ratio of 0 0.8, which means it's going to work with all the standard uh, cinema geared uh, lenses. Um, and, uh, and also it's a very powerful motor. So uh, it, it, it can, you know, pull focus, obviously no problem with this small cinema lens, but even if you have like full size glass or even like some vintage lenses that are a little bit stuck in there, has no problem operating that. So you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, and yeah, like I said, you have full customization. Now you also notice you have these two little buttons here for camera, it says, and then here basically for like a photo camera and, and, and a video. And that's because the motor itself actually has a connection. Uh, it's, a, it's a micro USB connection. And then there's different cables that you get with this kit so that you can connect it to, uh, to all, all, you know, all your typical like Sony, Canon, Panasonic cameras and all that stuff. So you can actually remotely trigger the camera also, either the shutter to take photos or uh, to start and stop the video. Uh, so it's like a cool little extra added uh, feature. Uh, the, this whole wireless follow focus system has a range of just over 300 feet. You also have um, here this marking disc is obviously removable as magnets. But what I like is that this ring up here actually has a tension adjuster. So if you turn this, you can make it very, very hard to turn. And you can kind of adjust the friction of this. So you can tighten it even more. And then it makes it that much harder. Or you can loosen it. And see now I have it completely loose. So it's very easy now to turn it. And I actually like this because a lot of times, especially when I put my cameras on a gimbal, uh, and let's say I'm doing like a small production or some camera tests where it's just me operating both the gimbal and then also I want to have the ability to pull focus. Then what I do is that then I'll mount basically this uh, remote and I set it to very light, the friction, and then just with my thumb, I can, you know, while I'm basically holding the gimbal, just with my thumb, I can turn this and I can adjust the focus very, very easily. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. And then also, by the way, if you're wondering how you can mount it, there's actually a quarter 20 uh, attachment on the left and the right side and on the bottom there. Uh, so you can attach it different ways. And uh, like I said, this one has the built-in battery that is, uh, I've never ran out of those batteries, to be honest. So it's going to last you for a few days if you just fully charge it. And it just charges using a micro USB connection here on the top. Um, and then the follow focus here, maybe I can show you guys how it looks. So if I detach it here. So you can see this is how the whole uh, motor looks. It's still actually a pretty small motor, uh, and it has here the the you know attachment for your rails, and it's gonna you see it has this little like a, a aluminum uh, fitting inside. So this way it fits on the 15 millimeter rails that I have up here on my rig. 
but even if you have a bigger camera that uses 19 millimeter rails you just take that out and then you can still use it with that you can adjust here the height of it um, and yeah tightens nice and strong in there and then also here on the bottom is that connection like i said for uh, so, so that you can basically remotely uh, trigger the camera so uh, that's where you would plug that uh, and then yeah this is one of the cables that they provide you and this one has the uh, p-tap connection uh, on, on the back of it so that's how you would power the the motor um, yeah really cool wireless follow focus system from came tv it's the came tv uh, astro uh, so yeah if you guys want check it out as always if you use my affiliate links we we'll greatly appreciate it it helps with the channel um, so yeah, if you are interested, you want to see the prices and all that stuff, uh, click on that and check it out. Now let me show you guys sort of how this whole wireless video system works. So the wireless video itself, and like I said, it, uh, it comes with the transmitter here and the receiver. And uh, the first movie, I'll talk about the receiver. So the receiver is pretty straightforward. You don't really have anything here that, you know, you can do. It just shows you here, you have a little switch here so you can uh, turn it on and off. Uh, and then other than that, it shows you a little LED light so you can see the status of you get the connection, whether it's good, whether you're getting a video signal or not. Uh, and then you have uh, actually two ports. So you have an HDMI out and then you also have a, a SDI out. So that's really nice and will cross convert it. it. doesn't matter whether you're connecting, let's say a HDMI connection here, you can still convert it and have SDI come out or vice versa. And then you have uh, here, you have another way if you want to power it, you have a, a seven to 24 volt DC connection uh, here on the side. Uh, in my case here, like I said, it comes with a Sony NPF style battery plate. So I just have a Sony NPF style uh, their battery mounted on there and then in case you're wondering how you can mount it you have a quarter 20 there on the bottom and then here on the left side and that's it it's pretty straightforward just turn around and uh, the system just works uh, now let me for example uh, show you here how this works so if i power down the camera so here's my v-mount battery that goes off here's the hdmi cable that i had plugged in i'll take that out and then here's the transmitter itself so as you can see this is how the transmitter looks uh, it's actually surprisingly light when you're considering the size of this uh, and it's actually not too thick like i said it you know when you sandwich it there on the back of your camera between the v-mount uh, battery and your camera it doesn't add that much extra to the the size of your rig uh, and uh, what you'll notice also is that they have here they have SDI in and an SDI loop out, so you can easily get the sig signal, let's say, looping to your monitor and things like that. And the HDMI, you do not have a loop out. In my case, I was using the HDMI because my uh, monitor here has HDMI in and out, so that works perfectly. You have your on and off switch, you also have the DC 7 to uh, 14 volt uh, connection. And then you have your LED lights here that will show you the status of whether you're getting power, video signal and whether it's connected to the and the receiver and then on this side you also get a usb connection so if you want to let's say tether the power to some something that uses usb connector uh, you can do that now if you're going to use this as a standalone thing like i said you can still mount the v-mount battery up here uh, and you have a quarter 20 here on the bottom and here on the left side but uh, if you want to you can actually still power this uh, using a Sony uh, NPF style battery like I have in that case over there to do that all you take is this little battery plate so, like I said they provide this to you uh, and it's, it has v-mount on one connection here and Sony NPF style there and you basically just put it here where the v-mount connector is on the back slide that in there and then you can put your uh, Sony NPF style battery And as you can see now, it's powered, so you can you can still have this as a standalone thing, like I said, mounted on a little arm or something. And uh, yeah, you can still power it that way. But personally, I really love the fact that it has that V-mount battery plate uh, here on, on both sides because it does fit, like I said, kind of nicely having it sandwiched there on the back of the camera uh, in between the battery because it just stays out of the way. It's not so awkward ergonomically, the camera still works great. And then you also know that you're always getting power to it 
as long as the camera is getting power, you, you know, this thing is being powered. So now let me do a long range test. I've got the receiver here mounted on top of my monitor along with the follow focus. So obviously follow focus is not going to work as long of a range as the wireless video, but yeah, let's test them both at the same time. Uh, and I've also got my camera here so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. So I'm 100 feet away, no problems. Video looks good. 200 feet away, again, no problems. The quality of the video has not degraded. So right now I'm at 250 feet away and I can still pull focus, but it's not as responsive, I see. And there it goes back. So yeah, for pulling focus, you kind of want to do it, you know, no more than 250 feet away because then it becomes, uh, the signal basically cuts in and out. And here we are, 300 feet. 300 feet signal still looks just as sharp. Uh, the delay, that's about the same as when I'm right up close to the transmitter. Now the focus, when I try, it's not responsive. It's like halfway there, so. I would pretty much say you do not want to do the, the wireless follow focus, you know, or you, you don't want to rely on it more than uh, 250 feet away. Now let's keep on going even further. And I'm 400 feet away. And again, <laughs> just wave with my leg, yep. Getting the signal there, everything seems to be working. It's nice and sharp, surprisingly. Okay, I'm 500 feet away. And again, you can see the squirrel there jumping. And the signal still works, although, you see, there is, it's cutting out a little bit sometimes. So it's 500 feet away. Now we've got the signal back and now it's cutting out again, so we'll go a bit further. All right, I'm almost 600 feet away, but I see now it's cutting out the signal, yep. It's not perfectly smooth. I'm at almost 700 feet now, but it's kind of cutting in and out. Like it basically freezes. Yep, now we completely lost the signal, that's why it says searching. Now another really cool feature of this wireless video system is that the receiver itself emits a Wi-Fi signal, uh, a network, and if you connect to that network on your mobile device and then launch the uh, KMTV Crystal V app, which is available for both iOS and Android, then you can actually monitor the shots wirelessly again uh, on this one receiver and you can actually connect three mobile devices. So you can in reality have, uh, including this you know, screen that's going to be connected via HDMI or HDMI uh, directly to the receiver, you can actually have four screens connected to just one receiver. Really cool feature. And when it comes to the, the, the lag, uh, again, you guys can see here how it performs. I'm actually surprised that the Wi-Fi devices and the mobile devices that are connected through Wi-Fi wirelessly actually have slightly better lag, uh, basically, or shorter amount of lag than the, the screen that's connected directly to, uh, to this receiver. Now, that could be in part because of the monitors, like different monitors sometimes will have slight delays in there. Uh, so that will add to it, but yeah, it's it's like a tiny bit better uh, on a, on the actual mobile devices. So yeah, it's it's really cool, and and it, like I said, with this one wireless video system, you can end up having actually four devices or four screens connected. So hopefully you guys found this interesting and uh, you know entertaining uh, and informational. I guess above all, head on over to my website tomantosfilms.com, uh, and this way you'll stay up to date whether I'm doing any other kind of filmmaking gear reviews. Uh, you know, tutorials, things like that. And also you'll get a little gift by subscribing to my uh, newsletter. Uh, and uh, otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video or the next post. Bye.